hearing everything that people say, they're always like, oh, nurses got it made. Like, nurses make good money. Like, da 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 da. Then when I get here, I'm like, all right, you guys. Hey, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Rai. Um, well, you know, I'm feeling very refreshed. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very, you know, good right now. I have my nice tan for my trip to Jamaica. If y'all haven't watched that video already, go check out my YouTube vlog for my trip to Jamaica and see how that went. It was awesome. I loved it. But now it's like, you know, Vlogmas is going on. I'm a very small YouTuber, so I'm not really participating in the full Vlogmas but I do want to give y'all a ton of vlogs because vlogs are something that I do enjoy doing and I'm trying to get better at them. So I'm just going to, you know. Also, you guys, we moved to hotel, so that'll be a little reveal in this video. We are now at a new hotel. It's cute. It's cutesy. I don't know why I came in here and this little pullout couch is out. So let me correct that. Going to show you guys my room and guess what conversation we're having today. We're going to do a very chill, just chit chat, like how much money you can expect to make as an RN because lots of people have been hitting me up saying that they're so interested in this content. And y'all, I was wanting to know the scoop too, okay? Like before I went to school and stuff, I always wanted to know like how much nurses get paid because y'all, you always hear people talking. This is where I'm about to put y'all on game. Don't listen to the people. Do do not listen to the people because growing up, hearing everything that people say, they're always like, oh, nurses got it made. Like, nurses make good money. Like, da 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 da. Then when I get here, I'm like, is this a joke? Like, is this some evil joke? I'm just going to let y'all know. When I first started nursing, I honestly thought that the pay that RNs got was way higher than what it actually is, but I'm going to help you guys so you don't have to have the same realization at the end of the game like I realized. Either way, all in all, let me stop like complaining. Nurses do make decent money, but I do genuinely feel like the money that we do make is not nearly enough. Like it's not nearly as much as we're worth. As much as we bring in the hospital, like as much as we're able to like help the hospitals keep running as far as like patients, even dealing with the different teams nurses have to do a lot like I'm not joking a lot so and that's something else that I don't feel like people really understand all of the things that fall within our scope of practice anyways we're gonna get on to all those things in different videos but for the purpose of this one you're gonna find out how much you make as a new grad RN I do have two years of experience now at this point I have switch specialties. I started off as a pediatric float nurse, then I went into adult ICU, and now I am a travel nurse and I'm doing traveling and progressive care. So as y'all know, like clearly, I've been like all over the spectrum when it comes to pay. I've been a new grad. I've also been a weekender and now I am a traveler. So those are three different pay grades like, um, you know, that you need to be educated on because you get different money for different jobs, different job titles, different hours. So I will talk to y'all again about this some more just in a second. I'm going to pull up my like little pay stub. I don't know if I'm going to show it on the actual video, but I definitely do have proof of like my real pay stub. I'm just working on my editing right now and I don't know if I have the abilities to really edit out the stuff that needs to be edited out for it to go on the internet, but I will try my best to get y'all, you know, the real and I'll be right back. All right, so I'll try to show y'all the outside of the room, like um, the outside of this hotel later. It is located like in their downtown area. So it's super cutesy. As you can see, I already kind of got some of my stuff set up. Y'all, I am obsessed with African shea butter ever since surgery. Like that is all that I use on my stomach and like my butt and it works miracles. Um, here's the cutesy little shower. <laughs> Dial is the way to go. Y'all look, my mom be like, seriously couponing so when i go home i steal a bunch of stuff and soaps laundry detergent um stuff like that are things that i steal here's my cute little couch my cute little bed um the tv got a nice little closet in here um that's my chinese food that i got for lunch earlier and here's the closet so this is obviously really way nicer than the extended stay that i was at before um, but it is way more pricier and we'll get into that like soon. That's my stuff for this video. Yeah, y'all, let me stop playing. Let's just get into this video so I can help and go take a shower and get on with my night, okay? Because I am exhausted. 
got back from Jamaica last night at 9 p.m., got my ride home, took a shower, like whatever, whatever, went to sleep, was up 4.30 this morning, hit the road, doop, doop, drive, drive, back here so I can be to work. I literally drove in this morning, went straight to work, did 12 hours. Like, so y'all, I'm tired. I will be asleep within the next hour and a half. As soon as I shower, I don't even know if we get into the moisturization. I really might pass out in the shower. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. Oh my goodness. Like, mm -hmm. uh, let me stop. But yeah, so you guys, we are back with another video. And as y'all already know, we are talking about how much RNs get paid. First, let's start with this. RN is a registered nurse. There's different types of nursing. Like you can be an LPN, you can be a CNA, or you can be RN. So I am talking about RN salary. So also I might need to pull up my laptop because I really think I might need a calculator. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. How much do y'all think that you get paid as a new RN? I'll wait. <laughs> now let me stop. But you guys, I'm here to tell y'all, back in, I graduated in 2019 with my um, associates of nursing degree. I had just a two year ADN. When I graduated and started working that January, my starting salary was, okay, and also to just know you have your base pay and then you have shift differentials. So for people that don't work in the hospital, let's just say like day shift, you get base pay um, and then shift differentials. Like if you work night shift, then you get like a certain add on to your base pay. So when I started out 2019, so first, my base pay, and I did come from a city, my base pay was $27. So I started off as a new grad RN with a base rate of $27 an hour. It's not bad. I think it's like pretty standard. I don't know, like it is based on states. So I will show like some little add-ons here because like states like California, you get paid like probably like $50, $60 an hour versus you know places like North Carolina it seems to be an average of around like $27 and I'll tell you this my hospital was a public like nonprofit hospital and then there's also a private hospital also and I think they were starting their nurses closer to 30 like 30 was around their base rate I think it was 29 actually but so we started at 27 they started at 29 30 ish so you see that and as you all know, when I first started nursing, I was a night shift nurse and now I do work day shift. So it is way different. But when I worked night shift, I did love that you get a shift differential. So with this, I now got an extra $4 every single hour that I worked. So overall, as a new grad RN coming straight off from school, no experience, nothing to offer, I was able to make a starting pay of $31 every single hour. So you guys, honestly, that's not bad. Okay, let's like here in America, but honestly too, like when you think about it, like people are working at Chick-fil-A, they make $15 an hour. So why am I only making $10 more? I don't know. And I had to bust my butt a long time. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong um, with compensation for, you know, fast food work and stuff like that. They deserve it. I'm, they deserve it because they work hard. But I'm saying we deserve it too. And I think that they need to bump up what they pay nurses because mm, I don't know. But you guys, like $31 an hour, I'm not even gonna lie. Like let's rewind to my very first paycheck. Like y'all, I was happy. Like I was so happy when I got paid for the first time because I was like, oh my goodness, like I've never seen this much money in one check. Like, let's see how much was my checks. Ooh, and then I also was gonna tell y'all, so you know, I started like when I graduated, that was my pay. But then like, say for instance, I had a friend who graduated like a year after me they do these things like market adjustments. They call them market adjustments where based on how other people are getting paid around you, they'll adjust the pay for everybody. So I started off at the 27, but then like within that one year, they bumped me up to $28 an hour um, from 27 to 28, just because it was a market adjustment. So then overall, I was now making $32 an hour working night shift and then if you would have worked day shift you would only get paid $28 an hour but one side note if you do want to work day shift just know you do get shift differentials um for from the hours of 3 p.m to 7 p.m I believe that's pretty standard but if you work um day shift for your first eight hours you get regular standard pay and then for your last four hours you do get a little bit of that differential 
And what I will say too, when I switch from night shift to day shift, it, it's not that big of a difference. I honestly would say, save your body, save your mind, save your life, and just work day shift. Like it's literally only a couple hundred dollars. Like after taxes and stuff, it's not big enough of an amount of money for me to feel like it's worth the suffering and the, you know, the damage that it does to your body in order to stay working nights. Four dollars, that keep it because I'm gonna keep my normalcy of my sleep schedule. I still get to hang out with my friends. Like, I don't have to let my body recover after shifts. Like, you know what I mean? So I say go for it, you guys. And here's my pay stub here. So this one I have printed, yeah, 2020. So 27 hourly registered nurse and my total pay. So for this check, I had worked sixty-two hours. So I was full time, thirty-six and thirty-six. That's supposed to be seventy-two. So I must have. Oh, look, there was a holiday in here because it says holiday pay for twelve hours. So that's where the extra hours are. But this is just an example, you guys, with me working. 61 and a half ish hours plus my 12 ish hours for my holiday my total paycheck and it, you get paid bi-weekly so my total paycheck for this literally was y'all don't even know how to look at pay stubs. i just look at my dang check what's what i see in my bank account oh two thousand dollars y'all two thousand dollars so yeah so basically after taxes you make around like four forty five hundred a month which you guys like when you're starting out like if you're single you have no kids like you're you're set like you know you have the money to pay all of your bills and you have extra money for spending i would just always encourage everybody when you do get into this your first career like whatever save 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 like this is the time like save as much as you can because honestly you know things add up and you don't ever want to be in a crappy situation honestly like i didn't even look at this number like i was just telling you like oh my god i remember my first check i was so excited but it's crazy look that's why you got to stay humble you got to stay grateful because i remember that the very day that i got my first nursing check i was so grateful so happy and then it's like dang look what i'm making now like is growth is is growth and that's what i would say about this nursing game you guys get into it get into it fast because there's endless possibilities i promise you literally you don't have to work at the hospital if you don't want to you don't have to work with old people if you don't want to you don't have to work with like you are the the driver of your whole career like once you get that degree you can pick whatever specialty whatever hours like whatever you want and look know your worth if you don't want to accept the job for that pay say no there's a ton of jobs that are they need nurses right now you guys like we need nurses so just go for it and if y'all have any other questions for me just let me know like i don't know what other stuff like y'all really want me to talk about but i love educating people about things within nursing um i also like talking about my life i like talking about anything really so just put stuff in the comment section let me know what y'all think about this video give it a thumbs up if you learned something if it helps you if it gave you some knowledge that you didn't have before i didn't explain too much but i just wanted to tell y'all really quickly just how much you can expect to make as a new grad RN because I know lots of people are wondering. So please come and join the RN gang with me and I will be back with another video like really soon, you guys. I'm gonna be posting, hold me accountable. This month, I'm gonna post at least four videos, at least four videos for the month of December. I wanna do like a, you know, get ready for the new year with me. I kinda wanna like do my, every year I get a planner, I write down my goals, I schedule out, you know, my bills, important things. I just kind of want to take y'all on that experience with me. Um, something else that I definitely want to do, I'm doing this. My Jamaica vlogs already posted at this point. What else? Y'all just, just stay tuned. Try on haul maybe, but I don't know yet. Anyways, this is dragging. I wanted this to be quick. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, please. And thank you. It means the world to me. And again, thank you for everyone that supports my YouTube channel. Thank y'all for always liking, commenting, and subscribing and sharing my videos. If I don't tell you individually, which I think I do, thank you again. Okay. And I will be back with another video soon. Bye.